Well, hello guys, and welcome to Renegade Manufacturers in Miltona, the home of a lot of different baits, uh, including some of my baits, like the McTail, the Biggie Tail, the Giant Macrobber Tail, and the Giant Macrobber. So what we're gonna do now is we're, we're gonna do a one-hit wonder. That's gonna be a success, everyone wants it. We're gonna make a couple of Cisco versions for Milax, a couple of scree screaming ones, and a couple of natural ones. Uh, Jason is right now out at his boat and picking up the Sunrise that I caught the 48 on. So I'm gonna show you guys how it looks after a couple of bites and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. All right, guys, here's the, the giant macrobber tail, or the squirrel tail. We haven't really decided what, what the name's gonna be, but it doesn't matter, it catches fish anyway. <laughs> All right, so what do you reckon? We should do a couple of Cisco's, right? Yep. Okay, so we do do the harnesses first, and... Uh, what do you want me to do? Pour the shit in those things over here? Yeah. How much? Well, a couple of squirts. A couple of what? Squirts. This bait, Next booger. did I actually make up a really shitty day on Milax two years ago? Uh, I was fishing with Jason and I had actually designed uh, a large paddle bait called the, the Giant McRubber. And we did only have followers on that bait. And you were ripping them on tail baits. So what I did was I took the tail from the big tail, a large, a really large curly tail. Took one of the giant mac rubbers, cut it off, glued it together, and caught a 46 on it. Yeah. That was, just, that was the birth of that one. And uh, after that, we have designed it a little bit more. Put some, uh, <clears throat> what do you call this, wings? Yeah. A couple of wings and a shark fin. So this will actually give the bait a little bit more hang time because of the flat body and, and the wide sides of the wing. So this one glides pretty nice through the water. You can rip it, jerk it, slash it, straight retrieve it. It works awesome. Love the eyeballs. The eyeballs. These molds are made of a friend of mine, Martin. Brumberg in Sweden. Love him. He's a great guy. Thanks, Martin. All right. A friend of mine, a musician, listen to Mangi Helbay. Okay. All right. The blue stuff. Watch. Then we do some silver. Then we take the highlight. This is where the magic begins. Don't take too much of this stuff because then the effect will disappear. Just a hair of it. Your musky candy is being made here. Whew. It's starting to turn into a Cisco. Yeah. All right, so here we go, guys. Uh, we're just going to wait for these suckers to, uh, to set. It'll take about 10 minutes, and then we're going to airbrush them a bit. See you later. <laughs> Ta -da. Oh my. That looks good. It's pretty good, huh? Man, that's a nice looking cup. I think that would catch a burger cup. That is super nice. 
So there is a lemon tail Cisco. It's a hot looking day. Thanks, buddy. All right, then we're gonna do two of them, yes, natural loop with tall white tails. Yep, good deal. Yep, yep, good deal. Let me introduce the, the man of the house, Mr. Drake Hurt. He's going to have the, the pleasure to, to pour the last on these Cisco's. That's uh, me, and, <laughs> me and Mr. Hammernick is yeah. going to catch the world record muskies on. <laughs> Hoping we're pouring the right color. We're pouring some McRubber tails here. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Do, do, do. The magic touch. I mean, how many, how many baits do you pour a year, Drake? Oh, we pour a lot of baits. We're looking around like 30 or 40,000 baits we pour. Lots of baits. Yeah. I mean, the cool thing is that everything in here is actually handmade all the way. Exactly. And that's pretty rare. Yeah, it doesn't happen too often. No, no, no. Ah, it's fun. We enjoy it. Yeah. It's always fun. Hammerneck will come over, he'll have a different color or something that he concocted. And we gotta pour it up and then he goes and catches fish on it. Yeah. Makes a guy feel at least a little good. <laughs> yeah. This color is gonna catch a 50 pounder on the old Mille Lacs Lake. Hodgepodge is a real word. It comes from where? America. Yeah. I never America. heard America. America. You try the good old hodgepodge. Drake, how many years have you been pouring bait and building baits? I mean, you do a lot of the, the big ones. Yeah. Big game, medusas. Yeah. All sorts of stuff. The big tooth. Yeah. What else? <laughs> All sorts of them. You named them. Big tooth. Triple X. Yep. Custom X lures. Yeah. Squarely rabbits. Yeah, rabbit squirrels. Yeah. Musky buster, yeah. yeah musky musky buster. buster lures, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We got our hands in everything. We like it. I like it. Yeah, it's fun. Well, we, we've set up to be the one-stop shop. We like to pour, we like to paint, we like to do everything. So yeah. it's, it's Yeah, I, I, I mean, I've, I've been working with you for a couple of years now, and I see how the whole place grows. Girls, yeah. I mean, now you're almost having like two more yeah. buildings like this. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's fun. We, I mean, we're just growing with the fishing. Muskie's growing right now, pike's growing right now. Yeah. It's all good, so it's fun stuff. Super excited. It's a good time to be in the fishing lures. Yeah. Whatever we can think of. I mean, there isn't, there isn't really any school for this. No. I mean, it's just fake it till you make yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's a lot of I blood, mean, sweat, and tears I mean, into this I, I stuff. Love, I love this. This is art for me. I mean, yeah. look at the, the spray booth over there. Yeah. Handmade. Yeah. It's fucking, like, in 20 years, you could probably sell that for a couple of million. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I look is right here, Klaus, on this little area. Yeah. Where all the dribbles are, you can always find new colors in there. Oh, but. I mean, look at the shift here from orange to brown yeah. to black. Yeah. It's good. It's always new good sucker stuff. color. Yeah. So this hodgepodge of color that we came up with, I'm just going to prepare a little gray paint here. We're going to touch up the back just a little bit, give it that last final touch. And the, and the other ingredients, the white dots. Oh yeah, and the white dot, don't forget that signature.
and the world famous claw stop. Do do do. The shit we learn when class comes over here. Okay, Drake. Not a problem, buddy. Anytime. All right, let's go. All right. See you later, buddy. Yeah. Yep, yep, you did.